All guts, all glory. That motto perfectly fits the wire fox terrier. The fox terrier is an outgoing, curious, and active dog. That's a great buddy to have. The wire fox terriers were used to kill small animals such as rats or hares that could eat and ruin farmers' crops, but they were used more often in the 1800s for the popular pastime of fox hunting. These small dogs were found in Britain by the Romans when they invaded in 54 BC. That explains why my dog likes to hunt so much. The wire fox terrier's original purpose was to ride in the hunter's passenger seat in a bag that looked like a purse. They wait until the fox is cornered, and when the fox was in the tree and finally came down to the ground, the hunter would let the wire fox terrier go to chase and catch the fox. When the wire fox terrier won't release whatever they're trying to kill, the hunter uses their tail as a handle to pull them out of the hole. What a help the wire fox terrier is. Do you want a dog that has a tail that curls up? Well, the wire fox terrier's tail is supposed to stick right up. In order for their tail to stick up, you have to pull their tail out. When the dog makes the tooting sound, you pull the tail hard enough. You do this for a couple of weeks when they are a puppy, and the tail will stick up perfectly. The wire fox terrier is a small dog. From the shoulder down, they are 15 and a half inches. They usually weigh anywhere below 18 pounds, so you can carry them, but they love their exercise. The wire fox terrier lives an average 12 to 14 years, so you can live a long, happy life with your wire fox terrier. The wire fox terrier should be stripped because if they're not, their color will start to fade. Stripping the coat will also give it the right texture and contain the color. You can't cut these dogs fur and then try to strip them because their coat will be still be foggy. Because wire fox terriers don't shed, they are good for people who have allergies. No people who have allergies. You've got such a good looking coat. Now to get their, get their um, fox or whatever is hiding, oh. they can pull them out. The, the handler yeah. or their yeah. the owner. The owner, yep. and that's why their tail is is done like it is. Probably, um, I know in other countries they don't dock the tails. Mm -hmm. I think at one time they dock tails and and did not their ears, but did ears. On well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. <honey. laughs> and you say when you. Um, when you hand strip them too, that um, so they they don't get as much dirt. They're able to repel that. Yes, and you don't have to bathe them as often. Mm -hmm. And how does that do with their hyperallergenic? They don't shed. Okay, so it's not shedding. When you hand strip, they don't shed. Of course, they shed a little bit, but not like you if you clip them. If you clip them, they have like all the dust bunnies and, mm -hmm. and stuff. That's okay, honey. And That's you do okay. their whole body. Do the whole thing. <laughs> and you're holding his tail like I'm it's a I'm holding his tail so he can, so he can, uh, <laughs> so I can control him a little mm -hmm. bit. That's like a handle. Yep. And they do There's not many negatives about these dogs, but there is a couple things. If you have a cat, I wouldn't recommend getting a fox terrier because they don't get along well with cats. One of the other problems is you shouldn't live in an apartment. You can live in an apartment, but you'll need to give your dog a little more exercise. Wire fox terriers are okay with other dogs. The way to get these dogs to be happy and excited to see other dogs is to get another dog. They will play with each other and have fun. But you don't want to get a dog of the same sex because they'll, they will fight. Female wire fox terriers are more aggressive than males. You can certainly have children if you have wire fox terriers. The only problem is these dogs are super hyper, so I wouldn't suggest young children because they could get hurt. But all in all, the fox terriers love children. This breed has won the Westminster Dog Show 14 times out of 106 shows. That's the most times any breed of dog that has won before. The closest dog is a Scottish Terrier, winning only 8 times. The Fox Terrier is the best dog. There, competition record shows it.
Quincy, my oh, Wire Fox him. Terrier, oh, and I Dylan. think you should get a Wire Fox Terrier or two to add to your family right now. Quinny? Quincy? Are you going somewhere? You going somewhere? Huh? In the morning. What's in there? What's in there, big boy? Oh, how cute, Dylan. Look at him.